Wait, wait. His, his teacher told him what? That's what he's claiming. As a child, he was told that bears and eagles killed Jewish people in cages at Auschwitz. Could we just file that claim in the, well, well let's be polite. Isn't it the most documented genocide in modern history? You got it. Not according to the neo-Nazis. This is the neo-Nazi position. The Nazis did, killed no one, but the Soviets were ran by yarmulke-wearing ultra-Orthodox Jews, and they killed 475 trillion Christians. That, that, that's their position. Come on. It's just ridiculous. But you ever hear these people make, I don't know if you know Stalin's real name, Druga Slavi, or whatever the case is. They claim it means son of Jew, which I plugged it into a Sestian and Georgian um, translator. It means no such thing. I mean, come on. It just, just gets ridiculous. You have Christian heritage yourself? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, uh, mixed. I've got, I got, I've got Jewish family members. Uh, uh, both. So, how does it make you feel what he's saying about, uh, in the name of Christianity, these kinds of distortions? Back up. Back up. Uh, I believe in a higher truth, and I, I don't, I don't believe bearing false witness like he does gets us any, any closer to whatever higher truth there may be. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, intellectual honesty. What? Let's just say this: we, we have a president that shows words matter. I mean, exponentially, words matter. Come on, words matter. What you say and how you present yourself is critical on how people perceive you. And he's trying to incite violence. He really is. All Jews, according to him, have to leave and have to go to Madagascar. And as president, he'll ring Madagascar with an international navy uh, that'll keep all Jews inside. But he's lying about uh, Jews committing uh, genocides, massacres against Christians, isn't he? I don't know enough about the Soviet Union. Presumably there was some Jewish. Lenin was a quarter Jew, but his mother wasn't Jewish, nor was her mother. Stalin took power very early. He was from an Orthodox Christian family. It wasn't being done in some coordinated in Jewish... Judaism, I don't no, think. No, of course not. No, I don't know enough about the Soviet history. But he suggested, this is a classic, that Stalin only took power right before World War II, presumably because Stalin's from an Orthodox Christian family. He wants to distance Stalin from Soviet crimes. See, that's the distinction between neo-Nazis and most people. Most people admit Nazi and Soviet crimes. They claim the Nazis didn't kill anybody. I beg your pardon. I, I'm not as eloquent because uh, I'm kind of riled up. Just, Did you come from out of town? Yeah, I'm from Central California. And what inspired you to come to this, this weekend? I saw a video of his where he said he was going to be here, so I got on a plane. You, you came to be the uh, counter to Patrick Little? Uh, somebody has to. He's running for president, so... How long are you prepared to stay and confront him? Well, I've offered him a thousand bucks and a free dinner at one of these uh, top places, a uh, $40, $50 entree and whatever he wants as a, uh, a la carte to discuss. I've got a list of his claims and he refuses to debate the claims. He wants to shout uh, whatever he wants to at people passing by, but he doesn't want to have an honest intellectual debate. Okay. Because it wouldn't hold up. But, but this is what I... I, and I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. But this is what really kills me. If he hates the system and it's all Jew money, all Jew ran, here's my VA pension. I don't need, does he look like he's disabled? Okay, turn your VA pension in. I will have no part of Jewish money if he thinks this is all Jew controlled. Turn your VA pension in. Make a stand. Okay, and oh. Why do you support the, the JDL? The JDL is a terrorist I didn't organization. Say I did. Don't put, don't put, do don't put words pension? in my mouth. You guys were talking about the JDL. Do you know what the JDL is? No, I'm not is? talking about the JDL. Don't, boy, don't put words pension. in my mouth. Hey, I'm a veteran. I want you to tell me about your VA pension. Why do you have a VA pension? You're very I, young. I'm, I have, re, I had an arm surgery. They evaluated me for disability after the shoulder surgery. And, uh, did you have PTSD? No, I don't have PTSD. Sure. I mean, you just got disability for an arm injury? I had to have a, a surgery. I couldn't use my left arm for like a year properly. Why are you spending Jew money, though? You claim it's Pat, all Jew Pat money. Is, Pat, Pat's a Jew himself. If it's so all Jewish we, money, if it's all here. Jewish money, you, no, you hate we're not Jews. Friends. Turn, them, turn your pension Jews. in. He's an actor. He's getting paid for this. He's an actor. He's getting paid yeah, we're. This. That's yeah. Patrick Little. Yeah, he's an actor. He's a government <laughs> agent. He lives in Berkeley, California, and he goes around the country and uh, uh, th makes outrageous claims. Like, obviously, this was the one that caused my girlfriend to spit her wine up. 
He, we were in our, our, our media well, I mean, library at home. What he says is correct. Uh, I mean, the, the Israelis Israel are currently occupying the Sinai. Israel carried now, out 9-11 attacks, of course. Does he not but, know but, that that was Pat, given back probably Pat's before a, he was uh, born? <laughs> Pat, Pat, for your edification, the Sinai was given back before you were probably born. Good afternoon, folks. Why do you Pat's a paid actor. And there's lots of them out here. Pat is equally as bad as any other supporter of the oh, did you, fake. Did you all hear this one? The Israelis and the Levant affair were ordered turned over by the U.S. State Department to the Israeli consulate in Egypt. Schmuck, no if you think there was an Israeli consulate in Egypt in the 50s, you were a beyond lunatic. A beyond a lunatic. Pat, for your education, there was no Israeli diplomatic mission until the 70s at uh, Camp David. Okay? Pat, it's about bloodlines, honestly. Okay, so the, the next time you claim that the Israelis were handed over to the Israeli consulate in the 50s. Who, who, who are 